If you happen to have been wondering how you can go ahead and record your screen on Dokkan Battle or your iPhone, iOS screen, you're playing Pokemon Go, whatever it is, for this video in particular, I'm going to show off a neat tool that allows you to do that. Now, I want to go ahead and say that in this video, this is a paid option, so yes, this is a sponsored video. Thanks to our friends over at Wondershare and Dr. Phone. So we're going to showcase Dr. Phone and its screen recording capabilities. And I will be back in a couple of days with a free option for you guys because this will cost a little bit of money, but it's totally worth every single penny that you would put into this. It's a very good way to do this. I do this now personally and it works really well. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of different methods because this works really well if you have like an iOS device, like a phone. This doesn't really talk about Android. I'm sure they have an Android alternative as well. You can find all the links into this as far as like how you can get this taken care of but this works really well if you have an iOS device like an iPhone an iPad or something like that and you're not fortunate enough to have a Mac at the moment so you have a Windows computer and this works really well on Windows PC so anyways let's go ahead and showcase the screen recording option so in the description you can find the links to download Dr. Phone I'm going to show you guys the way that it mirrors onto the computer which allows you to record it really well it records it in 1080p full quality the audio is there there's about a millisecond of lag just a really really tiny millisecond of lag between what you see on your phone and on the computer screen but that's not relative to what is in the recording the recording turns out perfectly a hundred percent fine so what you would do is when you have the toolkit, if you have the toolkit, because they do sell an alternative version, which is kind of like this, but it's just an individual from my understanding, just a screen recorder alone. This is the full thing. I have the toolkit because they were fortunate enough to give me that. Or I was fortunate enough, excuse me. So regardless, you open up the screen recorder. It says mirror record your iOS device screen on PC. So yes, we go ahead and click on that. When you do, what it does is it tells you how to do it. So if you're running iOS 7 to 10, it tells you how to get the mirroring set up because this all goes through AirPlaying. It also tells you you can install the recorder app through this and you can also QR code scan that and I'll talk about that in a second we're gonna go out on a walk and play a little bit of Pokemon Go so we'll be recording on the go for you guys but for this I'm gonna show you guys how to do it from a computer so basically what it does it tells you I'm on iOS 10 so you basically slide up from the bottom on your iOS device which I won't have a on-screen overlay for you you guys see the pictures there either way you do that you click on airplay mirroring it's gonna show you an option it's gonna say either doctor phone or something like iSky mine says iSky but either way when you click it, what it does is it allows the device to connect. As you see, it is fully connected now. It says iSky. That's just mine. But you got to make sure that they are on the same Wi-Fi connection. If you have any questions regarding any of this, let me know in the comments section down below. But yeah, you got to make sure they're on the same Wi-Fi connection. And once you've done that, it allows it to pull up. As you see, it kind of goes through. This is perfect speed, right? It works perfectly fine. Once you do that, you come over to the game that you wanted to record, right? So for this portion of the video I will showcase Dokkan because I know a lot of you guys love Dokkan Battle so let's go ahead and jump into Dokkan it records the sound and everything so what you do is when you got it set up you just hit the record button down here and it starts recording we're gonna actually play through this turn right and when we play through the turn I'm gonna show you guys the recorded quality and all that stuff afterwards we'll just stop the recording as soon as Goku Black at the end gets his attack off Okay, Cooler. I think Cooler may actually take him out, so we'll just stop it there. Oh, Shenron. Okay. Yeah, Cooler wanted to show off. So we're going to go ahead and stop the recording there. All right, and what it does once you've done that is it spits the file out. It spits the file out in a video file in your root directory, documents folder, Wondershare folder, Dr. Phone for iOS, and it's a screen recorder folder. You see the path there. But when you've done that, it gives you the video file. Full quality, everything there. It, it You see it recorded the audio and all that stuff. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but it recorded the game audio. This is actually a really good turn for Cooler, actually. He got really lucky there. A third attack was pretty clutch.
Yeah, and there you have it. So you have the recorded file, and then from there, once you have the recorded file, you can take that and put it into a video editor or things like that if you wanted to, to be able to you know, edit the video, apply your vocals to it, and all those different things. You can record a mic. All that stuff can be done from the computer since you're on the computer. Now, what we'll jump into in a moment, since I've showcased this for you guys, the computer-centric one, Understand that this can be done on the go. You don't need a computer for this. What we'll do next is I'll go out and I'm going to hop on Pokemon Go. We're going to do a little bit of Pokemon Go to show you that I'm on the move, right? Because you got to see I'm on the move. I can't just be secretly using my phone. So I'll be right back with Pokemon Go in just a sec to show you guys the mobile alternative. All right. So what I wanted to kind of get to you guys is that I'm currently on the, on the go right now. Like I'm not doing anything. I'm on the move right now. I wanted to explain that how you're going to get the application is once again if you're downloading the iOS version you have to go into the description click on the link it'll take you to a website such as this you're going to click the install button it'll ask if you want to install it'll download the application onto your home screen and then from there once it's downloaded it will need to be actually installed and to do that you'll have to go into the settings go down all the way down to general which I'm already actually currently in so go to settings general and then you'll see an option down here for profiles and device management you're going to click on the one for eager bidder click on that it'll ask if you want to install the application because this is not available on the app store yet the creator of it told me that he's trying to get it on there it's just apple's very strict with those type of things so once you've done that you do have the screen recorder i can't really go into it right now but it does give you the options to go ahead and change the resolution set the mic because when you're on here it'll have to choose between recording with your actual mic or with the game audio mic so it has to decide from there and once you've done that as you see it allows you to get into the application and begin using it so let's go ahead and load up Pokemon Go and we're gonna go ahead and catch a couple of Pokemon I'm hoping that no cars drive by but you know I don't know what happens so I should have probably had this try to be loaded up prior to this but I just want to show you guys that it does actually work I haven't played Pokemon Go on the move actually on my channel ever so this is kind of like a special thing for you guys so we're walking and um, I'm not gonna show you guys Ooh, look at that Dragonite way down there Ooh, the Sentret. I actually I actually want the Sentret. I think I have a Sentret though what I'm really looking for is a Cinder Quill, but I can't find one. There's an app called Poke Tracker, and uh, it's really good for that. Oh, I have no Pokeballs either. That's really unfortunate. But yeah, there's an app called Poke Tracker. It's really good for you know finding where Pokemon are as well. So I I use that. Dino Rhyme Style told me about it. Now, um, one day streak. Oh, I haven't been in today. Okay. Now, uh, forgive me if the audio sounds a little muffled or whatever, because I am on the phone currently. Since I'm on the phone, it doesn't have as good of a microphone as my one for the computer. So, I don't want the Geodude or the Growlithe, unfortunately. I'm not going to really try to catch them. I'm going to see if there's anything else in the area, actually. Huh. Okay, there's nothing really in my area. So, what we'll do is I'll just walk around the corner, see if anything pops up on the radar. Radar, radar really quick and if one does we'll try to catch it because for now and the car's going by the car's going by because for now though i don't want the growl of the other geodude it's not that i have a problem with geodude in particular i love Growlithe and arcanine don't get me wrong but i'm tired of geodudes i want second gen pokemon right now i don't want a first gen i'm about to get on the main street i don't think anything else is popping up Why are you doing this to me pokemon go all right i'll just catch the Growlithe. Oh, your box is full. Oh, that's beautiful. While we're waiting, let's go ahead and go to the Pokemon. And I will actually go ahead and sort them by recent. And we're going to kill some of them. Get out of my box, boy. Okay, just got rid of the Sentret. It allows me to catch one more Pokemon. I don't think anything is out here. Apparently, I don't live in a good area. And the Growlithe is gone too, but I'm assuming that if I walk back, he'd be back. Anyways, let me know how your day has been. <laughs> it's pretty funny that I'm on the walk. <laughs> Recording. So you guys have been on my channel. If you're not, if you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. I'd appreciate it if you did. Because, uh, you know, this is what we do. But, I think I'm going to go back because there doesn't appear to be anything out here. Let me actually go ahead and use a incense. Where are they at? Or not? Do I not have any? I do not have an incense. Oh, okay. I need some incenses. Looks like this is the end of the road. 
So anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much how the application works. You can see that. You guys have seen that I've been walking. I've been on the go this whole time. It's been working successfully. It records while you're on the go. Once again, links in the description for everything that you would need to know to be able to download the application for PC and to be able to download the application on your phone as well. If you do it for PC, you don't need the phone application. If you do it for the phone, you don't need the PC desktop version. So it is what it is. Anyways, links are in the description for all that stuff. Check it out. Like I said, I'll be back with a free option as well because this will cost you a little bit of money. But trust me, trust me, trust me. It's totally worth it. I'm going to catch this Growlithe. <laughs> Growlithe 9. I was going to call him Growlithe 9. I was going to catch this Growlithe. Anyways, you guys have an awesome day. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.